as 61% of Canadians consume alcohol. So I think if we, and the current population is like 37 million. So if you reach out to even 1% of these people, it would be hundreds of thousands. And I think even if we save one life, our venture proves its worth. They're only 15 and 16 years old, but this group of young scientists is setting out to change the way we test for blood alcohol in our systems. Our strip provides a very accurate reading, testing for blood alcohol concentrations greater than 0.02%. Well, these high school students have actually taken their idea past the idea stage into testing and have even come up with a design. This would be it, a little envelope. You open it up and you get this little test strip. You put this in your mouth and then back inside the envelope and it will start to change colors. On the back of the packaging, we'll show you this scale to see just how much alcohol you have in your system. And they see that they cannot drive and they have their family with them. They wouldn't want to be putting their family at risk. So this would be a really great indicator to tell them that they should wait a bit more or that they should get a different family member to drive. They're currently working to perfect the balance of chemicals needed for their procedure. They're hoping that once they perfect that formula, they can manufacture the strips for sale to individuals, but also to places like bars and universities. You, you went out to the bar, you went to a restaurant, you had one or two beers, you feel fine, right? But if you actually were to take that test, you could be over the legal limit and endangering yourself and others. The students credit faculty at Ryerson as well as DMZ Sandbox for helping them get their company spit strips off the ground. We've been meeting with them, they've been giving us advice, consultations, all for free. And truly to me, I think it's really important because I see that the people around me really care about this issue and are passionate as well to make it a reality. Well, the students hope to have working prototypes for these strips within the next two weeks as they are headed to an international business competition in the Ukraine. They're also looking for funding. If you'd like to help, you can go to our website, citynews.ca, for the link. At Ryerson, Audra Brown, City News.